everyone, welcome back to Venetron's Fallout New Vegas full walkthrough. You are watching episode 59, and we are at the southeast Vegas ruins, uh, just ready to go into some fiend territory. Um, so we came out of Vault uh, 11, uh, and we ventured across the wastelands with Eddie and Veronica here, and we're now just at the entrance to the southeast uh, ruins. So um, there's quite a battle on the other side of these doors, so I think what I'm going to do is, is um, get a reliable weapon here that I think might work. Um, let me just check and see what Eddie has as well. Uh, or maybe I'll just use the anti-material rifle. I think that's yeah, explosive rounds, right? So uh, there's only eight. Uh, I think I might have to use my laser rifle because it's the only one that, yeah, it's the only one with enough ammo in 944 cells. Okay, and as soon as we get in here, uh, we're probably going to be accosted by fiends. This is basically fiend territory, so. I wonder if I can get up there. Uh, and it doesn't look like it. Nope. I think that's just, uh, that area is just closed off. Okay, well, um, let's see if they're gonna spot us. I guess the only way to do this is just to go out guns blazing, but we're gonna get spotted anyways and they're gonna start shooting at us so oh so we've been spotted okay that's fine oh jeez Veronica power fist Okay, this, these guys have some good stuff. I'm probably going to get over encumbered again, but that's okay. Um, I'll pick up what I can and what I can use from them, and then I'll give the rest to uh, <laughs> Eddie and Boone. It's so funny. I shoot, like, I just throw off, like, 20 rounds, and she just walks up and punches their head off, and everything is fine. It's like rolling around on the ground. Ridiculous. Okay, let's get you. Oh, those are pulse mines? Oh man, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to switch back to the... Maybe I'll use the laser RCW. I don't think I have any other different types of rounds for the grenade rifle. Uh, okay, let's use dynamite. That will work. I wish that we could play the radio, um, but YouTube really doesn't like that for copyright issues, so I could sing to you guys if you'd like, but you probably wouldn't like that. Oh, this guy's taking a poop. Having a little shit down. This guy, just chilling out, hiding from everyone. Not anymore. <laughs> God, they're coming from all angles. Wow. Okay. So, um... Well, yeah. See, they have so much... I think what I need to do is, um... Yeah, oh, there's a weapons cache, okay. I, 
think what I need to do is I need to check all of these buildings after we get through this battle. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Damn it. Um, okay, I'll switch to the... This useless weapon. Ah, oh, it works. And I got an achievement. Nice. Okay, so we've discovered Vault 3. Um... And that is the second location, I believe, where the HEPA filters might be located. So... Looks like we're kind of done this battle. So what I'm going to do... Oh, no. Still firing weapons and Veronica's punching people's heads off. Uh, what I'm going to do is just check out the buildings while she's doing that. Uh -oh. uh, and kind of do some looting here because... Uh, there's lots of places to go through. Boom! Right in the chest. I actually kind of like this gun. I wish that I had more ammo for it, because I would probably use it through all Vault 3. But... Beggars can't be choosers. He's so far away. Laser RCW, Electron Charge Pack, um, okay, uh, let's see what we got here, I think I need to fix some weapons, yeah, okay, that's good, I could probably use this weapon, um, because it's quite powerful, so, you like the sight of Disintegrated him. Awesome. Alright. There's one more fiend kicking around somewhere. Not sure. Ah, yes. Do you guys like my fancy helmet? <laughs> oh, first aid kit. Awesome. Two stim packs. Perfect. Let's see what's in these dumpsters. Nothing. And a hammer. Oh, that's kind of useless to me. That's one thing that I wonder what Fallout will Fallout 4 will be like is, is are they gonna have all this these recipes for making guns and stuff? Do people actually use them? Um you know, do people actually collect that junk to to make weapons and weapon repair kits and stuff? Because I don't. Um, and the main reason is because I can't remember the recipes for the <laughs> to make the stuff. And, and I'm trying to go through the game and through the quests and the stories. And if you can't remember the recipes or you don't have them written down or a reference guide somewhere lying around while you're playing, then you'll never know what exactly you need. Um, I guess I could make a list and have it posted and, and then I can really show you guys um, what you need to make um, and perhaps maybe that might be something that I would want to include in this walkthrough. So how about we do this? If you guys want me to show you how to make weapons or at the very least um, continually and repeatedly collect things and make reference to how they can be used in recipes, um, leave comments in the YouTube channel uh, about that. Uh, and, you know, actually leave comments about other things that you would like to see as well. So... So, um... We just need to go through these, uh, 
couple other things. I'm going to eat some of this stuff to get rid of the weight. So I'm over encumbered again. And Eddie is engaging in battle once again. Uh, I need to check these buildings back here, actually. I don't think I collected from these guys. Nope. And I'm over encumbered again. Awesome. I guess it doesn't help that I'm carrying three laser rifles. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Okay, I know that there's something good in this building back here. Um, I can see it. So how the hell do I get in there? I'm just gonna let them fight it out, cause... Or is there more than one? Oh, there's two, okay. Let me just, uh, ah, he threw a grenade. Um, I just gotta kill him. He's probably gonna blow me up. Ugh. And I have a damaged limb. Okay. Ah, what the hell? Blew me up into the air. <laughs> oh my, I need a stim pack. And I need at least one doctor's bag. Um, yeah. Let's fix that up. Okay, good to go. Jeez, sorry guys. I, he threw one. I don't know where the other one came from. Maybe Veronica threw it. She's an, she's a spy. Die, die, die! Ah! There. Ooh. Okay. Oh, all right. So now we're gonna go back and explore those buildings quickly, um, because there's some ammo and weapons cache, uh, and I, I think there's a locker in there too, or a cabinet, tool cabinet, or something. So. Um. Yeah, just be careful that there's no mines or grenades anywhere. You could very easily uh, kill yourself. Uh, fiends like to set um, booby traps too. That's part of the issue. And then I don't think you can access this building. Um, yeah, there's nothing in there anyway, so... It's okay. Um, alright, so let's make our way around here. Um, and... This, these doors are actually another entrance that you can go through. Um, yeah, so it's a door. Oh, so maybe it's deeper into Fiend territory. I'm not sure. I think it might be. Uh, we should definitely check that out after we finish exploring the vault and getting the HEPA filters. Um, but yeah, that might be deeper into Fiend territory. And if that's any indication, then we should probably get some more... Um, ammunition because these weapons are just not going to cut it so gross that's disgusting nasty a leather belt and coffee mug okay okay so welcome to vault 3 uh, we're going to go inside and um no power armor no energy weapons and they're giving the ncr more trouble than we ever yeah did. no hmm. kidding um so uh we're just gonna head on inside all right so we're inside what the fuck are you doing here 
You got some kind of fucking death wish, whoa, asshole. Whoa, easy. Um, okay, we could side with them and be able to freely walk through the vault, but I don't think I have the speech level for that. So let's exit out of this dialogue um, and see if I can read a magazine. Yeah, fuck off. Uh, let's just see quickly. Um, speech, speech, speech. I don't know. Barter? No. No, no, I need speech. Uh, gun, survival, MG repair. Unarmed. You know, I suppose I could take Mentats, but. You thought I'm you could hide from me? Because I want their weapons anyways, so. Fiends, come on. Kill all of them. Damn it, that's gonna For the Brotherhood! Ugh. Well, my gun is not. But it's good. Actually, technically, this battle is in the name of the Brotherhood because we're searching for their friggin' HEPA filters that they need, so. Die. Oh, she's gonna punch him. Gross. Okay, let's go check some bodies for weapons and things. Because she had a 10mm machine gun and a grenade rifle with some rounds, so that's pretty na uh, handy. Excellent. When I find you, now who's shooting? More fiends. Hmm. Okay, well. Um, okay, let me just take a look around here and up here. It doesn't look like we have anything. And maybe on this other side, I know there's another body. And there's probably going to be more coming, so. Caravan shotgun. Hmm, okay. When I find you. I'm gonna eat your spleen. Mmm, spleen. Um, okay. How about we eat your spleen first? Die, die, die. Get him, Eddie. Alright, so I'm just gonna give some stuff Ooh, got something good for to me? Veronica. Is it a dress? I'm over encumbered once again. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, I really should have like gone back to somewhere and sold weapons and stuff, and I think that I'm gonna have to do that when we get out of Vault 3. Um, but now that we're in it, it's kinda too late, so. Um, okay, so, ooh, she has a silenced, um, these people have silenced 22 S, uh, SMGs. That's pretty frickin' awesome. Um, those weapons are, they're okay, I mean, but they're silenced, so, I mean, you can kind of creep, creep around and stuff, and you won't actually alert other people to come and join the battle. So let's try it out. Huh. Okay. So locked door, let's pick that. And a first aid kit, excellent. Empty syringe, stim packs, tool cabinet, conductor, and a conductor. 
teddy bears, scrap metal. Um, okay, not much else in here. All right. You like the sight of your own blood. Oh dear, oh dear. He has a flamethrower. Where the hell did that guy go? I think she got him. Yeah, look at all it. I see, you know, Veronica goes like a streak of light and then she leaves this path of like burning victims and when people with no you, heads lying around. Your spleen. Oh my gosh. It's so fantastic. I, I really don't have to do anything. Except loot. But uh, I have way too much stuff that I'm carrying. Like, it's just, like, it's too much. I can't handle it. <sighs> okay, so I wanted to check these boxes out. Don't forget to check these. There's a Nuka Cola. And another Nuka Cola. And a carton of cigarettes. Excellent. You can sell that for caps, of course, right? Um, and we weren't in here yet, so. There's lots of stuff to eat, because you're in the cafeteria, right? Uh, lots of bottles of purified water and probably some stim packs. Potato crisps, ex excellent. Um, yeah, here's some stim packs right here, just a line all over the table. These guys are fiends, right? So they're addicted to drugs. and and they need stim packs to kind of heal their addictions um, so medics medics radix um okay alston and some jet and psycho and empty syringe and that's basically about it I guess it would help if I turned my light on in here and a locked door um awesome noodles Yum. I love noodles. Oh my gosh. We are gonna have a feast. Iguana bits. Brahmin stay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take all that. Eddie and I are gonna have a big feast. And some purified water I see there. Excellent. Take that. Fresh apple. Awesome. Yeah, we'll use all of this. Even if we don't eat it, you know, we can always sell it or... It's good to have it though, you know? I mean, um, yeah, I mean, really. Yeah, and the, um, some of the things that you eat, like the Brahmin steak and stuff, will actually allow you to, um, carry more for a shorter period of time. But, I mean, it, it helps in a crunch when you, uh, you don't have any companions, or your companions or pack mules are over encumbered as well, or they can't carry anymore, so. Which, I mean, if you were smart in the game, you wouldn't allow yourself to get to that point, right? Always make sure that you have enough room on your, at least your companions to keep going, like I am right now, so. Alright, so we're down to the second level. Um, we could go down that way, but I think I want to explore this level first. Uh, and just clear out any fiends that are kicking around. See, this weapon is okay, but it it, it doesn't do much damage um, because the bullets like are small, of your right? Own blood. Ah, where the hell did you come from? God damn it, Veronica! I need you to punch his head off. Getting like eaten to bits here. I forgot to mention to you guys also another opportunity for you to um, 
make it easier for you to gain access to this vault without having to fight everybody like I am. Um, but I like battles, so um, sometimes it's fun to be to go in guns blazing as opposed to trying to be diplomatic. But anyways, um, another advantage. Ooh, to got you something good for me? <gasps> is it a is, dress? Um, you can dress yourself as a fiend. Uh, like I have their helmet on right now just because I think it looks ridiculous, but um, if you dress in fiend gear, you're more likely to uh, gain respect from their faction or you might be able to uh, trigger certain conversation triggers or you uh, it will also help uh -oh. you in bargaining at that front entrance um, without having to read a magazine. Uh, which is something that I never really thought of until just now, but it's okay. I mean, I was probably going to go in guns blazing anyways, because um, the fiends are basically the scum of the wasteland, so... So I'm just going to keep exploring while they fight for me, because um, I don't really need to... They pretty much have it under control. Oh, and I leveled up. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna put some into barter, for sure. And I think I'll put some into melee weapons, and then I'll put some other into, I think, uh, survival, yeah. Good, okay. Um, so there's a Nuka-Cola Quartz, or Victory, sorry. Uh, and then a Nuka-Cola Quartz. And you probably wanna take these Nuka-Colas too, I guess. I mean, they're good, right? Good to have. And pre-war books, if you feel the need to, that you're desperate for caps and you want to sell those, you can collect those. Although, keep in mind that they do take um, some weight. Whereas, like, I don't know, pre-war money? Pre-war money and stuff that doesn't weigh anything is the best to carry. Oh god, I'm addicted now. Great. Screen's gonna be blue for the next little, little while, guys. Sorry. I could probably apply a filter in, in the video editing, but... Uh, <laughs> Alright, so this is some sort of classroom. I wonder what the history of this vault is. Um, I should see if I can find out for you guys. I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Let me see. So, Vault 3 is one of the only three vaults in the Mojave with human inhabitants, uh, the others being Vault 21 and 19. This vault was one of the few control vaults, actually, that, um, um, that had no experiment connected with it. Uh, it functioned almost exactly to the residents' expectations. Control vaults are designed to open after 20 years, but the residents of Fault 3 actually decided to keep it sealed far longer uh, out of concern for possible dangers that they might face outside of the vault. Um, so, all was going well until an accident water leak uh, occurred, forcing the residents to open the vault. Ooh, got something good for me? Uh, Is it a dress? Help. The original Vault 3 inhabitants opened their doors and began to trade with people outside of the vault, but for a time it kind of went well and then the inhabitants made a good living, but this also brought in um, attention to Vault 3, uh, spe specifically of the fiends, and that's how they kind of became to inhabit uh, this vault and set up uh, kind of home here. So. In many ways, Vault 3 was an ideal post-apocalyptic community uh, that had um, that uh, did not get evaded uh, or invaded by Vault Tech's uh, one of their many experiments. The vault's isolation didn't affect the residents. Um, they maintained they maintained an orderly dem democratic society, and unlike other vaults, Vault 101 in particular. The Overseer wasn't a dictator or a megalomaniac, right? So, once again, though, uh, as with so many other Vault Tech designs, the water pipes fail, 
and by necessity the community is forced to contact to make contact with uh, Mojave's savage peoples which was ultimately their undoing right so anyways that's just a little bit of information about the uh, Vault 3 in case you guys are wondering And uh, Vault 3 actually also houses, I believe, the leader of the Fiends. Um, his name is Moto Runner, and he his throne is, is down in the maintenance wing, and we'll probably run into him later on, but... So, I think what we'll do is we'll actually, um... Yeah, there's a few other things that I want to explore, but we're actually at a 30-minute mark here, so... Um, you know, I think what we'll do is we'll uh, end the video here, and uh, if you guys like this video, please do click the like button and share it with your friends, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget that you can find the rest of these videos uh, and many more on my website, Vendertron.com. So, if, um, if you like this, hopefully we'll see you next time, and um, um, next time we'll be uh, finishing up in Vault 3 episode 60 so we will see you next time